this is our second month, so we started in April. Uh, we have this one in May, we'll have one in June. So at each of these games, uh, we have qualifiers that win um, at the seven sets of games that we host. So some of the games that we have um, each month would include stickball shootout, marbles, chunky, blowgun, uh, hatchet throwing, cornstalk shoot, and horseshoes. We came out to help these kids experience some of this uh, and, and just to watch the games. And uh, my wife's competing in the darts, so we come out to, to uh, cheer her on. So <laughs> he's really interested in the bow and arrows too, so or the the cornstalk. So. With the pandemic, we didn't get to have a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. So now that everything's opened back up, we're we're aiming to uh, we want to have a lot of events out here. We want people to come out and see this property. You know, we put a lot of work into this property, getting it back, open back up. Uh, we put a lot of work trying to get this building restored, and we want people to come see all the hard work we put into it. I know we have a lot of knowledgeable people out here working with these games, so seeing the kind of tradition, traditional knowledge they can pass down through the games is pretty interesting and something I'm excited to see right there. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm excited to be out here for the day and getting to participate in these games with everybody. Like I said, getting to be a part of the community is the biggest part right there. It's a good day to be Cherokee. <laughs>